guys. We got a box of pennies with the holes in the top. So let's go ahead and open it up. I don't see. Oh, there's a Canadian under. That's the only under. So, let's get right into it. Alright, guys, maybe 12 worlds in. And we have our first Weedy. It's a 1944 plane. So, let's keep going. Guys, very next roll. And we have our second Weedy. It's right here. Didn't really see it first. It is a 1956 Denver. So, let's keep going. Alright, guys, we got nine rolls left. And we have our third wheat. It's a 1957 Denver. So, let's keep going. Alright guys, we're in the last two rolls. This one has a 1986 Canadian Ender. So we'll do that one last. So we'll start out with this one. Hopefully we'll find some wheats. And we got some copper in here. And there's all the copper. Push all that to the side. And the very last roll with the Canadian under. Here it is. 1986. Set that aside. And we'll grab all the copper. And that's it. There's the copper. And that's it. So, let's get to what we found. Right, guys, here's what we found. We'll start up here. We have uh, uncirculated. So, we have a 2010 Denver, 2008, 2007 Denver, 2005. We have one error. It's an off center, 1982 copper. And we have one San Francisco. And I don't think this one's a business strike. There's just something weird about it. It's got like that thick edge. I don't know. Maybe it's the S. I don't know. I don't think it's a business strike. It could be approved, but I don't know. Uh, for the Zinc 82s, we have three, two small dates, one large date. Uh, we got two Canadians, a 95 and an 86. And for the wheat pennies, we got three, 1957, 1956 Denver. Um, and a 1944 plane. So, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.